It's the fun cast from visitmysmokies.com. For the first full week of summer, I guess that calls for an adventure. So many places that you can start one around the Smokies. Uh, how about a celebration in addition to an adventure? Dollywood's doing its summer celebration. You know what that means, extended park hours. You can be there till 9.30 at night, 10 a.m. in the mornings when things open up. Every night ends with great fireworks, and all the rides are open well into the evening. So if you feel like uh, the lightning rod late, you got it. Want to do the wild eagle uh, as the sun is going down? Not a problem. Uh, speaking of lightning, we've got the seven-day forecast coming up in just a few moments. But it's not all showers and thunderstorms, so stay cool. Yeah, Dollywood's summer celebration is an excellent way to stay cool in the Smokies. Uh, there are so many other things you can do, too, on those really hot days. Maybe you go out early and then go back out and hit the streets in the evening. That's when the streets of Gatlinburg come alive. That's when Smoky Mountain Tunes and Tales entertains so many people. The streets become a live stage nightly from 6 to 11 p.m. for this summertime event. The performers, the storytellers, the artisans portraying characters from time periods as far back as the 1800s. Well, the farmer's market for summertime is now in session. Gatlinburg offers local choices for healthy mountain living. Every Saturday starting at 8.30 in the morning, goes till noon at 8.49 Glades Road. Well, there's something else that you can do in Gatlinburg this time of year. The summertime brings the free trolley rides. You can hop on the Parkway free trolley in downtown Gatlinburg for the summer. Specially marked trolleys. They operate from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Hey, you want to go to Sevierville and hear some music this coming weekend? June Jam Cruisin' happens on Saturday. Music by Gary Sound Machine. Participants get a free beverage with a meal purchase and discounts on merchandise. And we're also getting closer and closer to the first Independence Day parade in the nation. That's coming up late Wednesday into Thursday of next week, along with the Gatlinburg fireworks finale. A lot of summer adventures to be had. Now, if we can just get the weather to cooperate. And I'm pleased to say, once we get past some showers and thunderstorms on Monday, it looks like you've got a couple of days. Seasonable temperatures for this first full week of summer, right around the average in the mid-80s. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday... And much of Thursday look quiet, but shower and thunderstorm chances return Thursday. And scattered stuff, about a 50-50 possibility on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we hold those highs into the mid-80s. You plan your summer adventure right now. And make sure you start with visitmysmokies.com.